Hiya folks, I'm Steve Judd. I'm a professional astrologer with 35 years consultative experience. And these are my astrological forecasts for each sign of the zodiac for the year 2014. Enjoy. And this is the astrological forecast for the sign of Taurus for the whole of the year of 2014, as best as I can. And the general feel here is that as far as at least the first half of the year goes, the earlier in Taurus you're born, the easier things are being. Whereas the later in Taurus you're born, the more you're still sort of laboring a little bit. So there's certain positive attributes and there's certain challenging ones. Let's deal with the challenging ones first, as far as Taurus is concerned. And this is primarily, at least in the first half of the year, coming from Saturn, in your opposite sign. And Saturn, which in the last year and a half has brought a great deal of restriction and limitation, but also restructure and uh, reordering and re-evaluation into the lives of those Taurians born before May 6, 7. Well, now Saturn's going to be particularly affecting the lives of those Taurians born from perhaps May 8, 9, through to May 14, 15, through to July, August, even September of this coming year. And here, there is a need for restructuring, restrictiveness to a degree. It's better if you make the, uh, if you wield the axe and the scalpel and you cut away things rather than they are cut away because it's better for you to act than it is to react. And yet at the same time, this is a value choice. What has value and worth? You're a Taurus, you should know the answers to this. And if you're one of these people born towards, say in the third week of Taurus, around the second week of um, May, then you're going to find that the first half of this year is bringing a lot of reassessment of value. What is it that is still of value and worth? And you're only going to be making, able to make informed, clear decisions on this by the time you're into August and September. And that's Saturn's influence. Later in the year, Saturn will particularly then affect those of you born from May the 15th, 16th onwards in a short, sharp way. And here I am looking at the times of mid-October through to mid-December, where you're likely to go for a brief but concentrated period of hard decision-making where things will become much more yes, no, black, white. But this is Saturn. This is the difficult stuff. Uranus in Aries is not touching you. Um, Neptune's bringing a degree of sophistication and elegance into some of your lives, in a way that's subtle but notable. Here I'm primarily talking about those Taurians born towards the end of April, particularly around, say, April 27, 28, 29. Here you should find a degree more artistry, uh, elegance, sophistication, spirituality, intuitiveness and sensitivity becoming far more the order of a day as the year evolves. And Pluto. Pluto is bringing a great deal of positive energy into some of your lives. Those of you born around May 2, three, maybe one, maybe four, but certainly two, three. You're in an excellent space this year for psychological rebirthing, for transformation, for shape-shifting, regenerating. Excellent time for just consistent, solid, stable uh, uh, patterns of self-acceptance and self-confidence. And this will become particularly noticeable in some type of manifest circumstances in the outside world uh, probably around the start of April, start middle of April, which is seen as a very fortunate time. The effects of Jupiter are mixed in that in the first half of the year through to mid-July, from perhaps say start of April through to mid-July, those Taurians born on or after May the 2nd are likely to go through a window of, of opportunity for short but gr sudden growth and expansion. And that's to be embraced. But from mid-July onwards, Jupiter starts to bring the potential 
for much more larger than life and over the top situations into all of your lives. And for some of you, particularly those born in April in the first two or three days of May, it may well seem as if late July through to perhaps mid-October is a time of sudden over-expansiveness and the need for caution around spending and weight gain at this time is strong. I'm not so happy about speculation and chance taking in the second half of the year as I am in the first. The first half has much more around growth under disciplined and structured clear boundaries. The second half of the year is much more about consolidation. However, as you get into December, you should all notice a sudden decrease in the levels of gravity, stress, pressure, restriction and limitation. You should find that as you get into December, pressure's off and all of a sudden you can breathe again. But until then, it's a fairly focused year and the opportunities will be there if you work hard for them. There's nothing stopping you, but you have to do it. No one's going to make you. And Saturn will happily put the brakes on if you let him, if you don't work with a degree of structure. So, as far as 2014 goes, Taurus, have a disciplined and structured year. There you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful and fun. Big thank you to all those people who have supported me over 2013 and I will continue to do my best to bring astrology to the world in 2014. My philosophy is clear, astrology should be free. However, if you wish to make a small donation, there is a donate button that keeps these videos going. So thanks, have a great year and I'll be here all year. See ya, bye.